ETF side versus individual equities is really a completely different conversation. You, know, you hear people talk about it all the time. Well, why don't you trade ETFs versus individual stocks? Individual stocks trade in their own merits. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, Monday's edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had a good day. Uh, very, very aggressive action, um, especially off the opening. Bulls did a bit, Bulls got very, very lucky today. And when I say that, I don't speak from a perma bear or a perma bull uh, kind of point, just kind of from the, from the point of technical analysis, and we'll get to that in a second. But we talked about over the weekend that you needed to be prepared, and I'm sorry for speaking like this, I bit my tongue so hard. As everybody knows, when you bite your tongue, you speak weird, so forgive me for a second. But uh, we spoke about um, over the weekend how we really needed to be prepared from both sides of the market. When you looked at how the indexes closed on Friday, you had your first close on SPY below uh, this rising support. Uh, you looked at the diamonds. The diamonds were bleeding, right? They were bleeding a little bit, and they needed one more day to get, get lower. And the one index that was strong compared to everything else was uh, the QQQs. And the question was, were they able to hold up, right? Because again, even if you don't trade, you know, the Apples of the world, the Amazons of the world, the Facebooks of the world, they still represent speculation money. If there's a strike with speculation money, you are going to have a very, very aggressive time defending your positions. And what we saw this morning was uh, a perfect scenario of being prepared. I, I think that's all it was. Uh, we talked about uh, over the weekend, uh, you know, names like AMD, right? AMD, for, you know, three times held 105. We talked about how Tesla, if it lost its 10-day uh, moving average, and we'll get to Tesla in a second, how incredible the wash was this morning, but as impressive, the remount, right? The remount, and it reclaimed uh, all the moving average. But again, we'll get to that in a second. So I, I, I think the biggest takeaway from today's action was, number one, bulls did a great job because it looked like around a quarter to three. Just I, I logged off around a quarter to three, about an hour and change left to the market. I said to myself, man, if we get a, a week close tomorrow, I'm going to be 100% sell bias. I mean, there's, there's no doubt in my mind. How can you not be 100% sell bias if the S&P, the Dow are all below supply and the QQQs, again, when I, when I was leaving, they were right here sitting on the 20-day moving average. And so the bulls did a phenomenal job. Uh, they defended all the price action and nice little jerk rally uh, into uh, the end of the day. Now, does that mean it's going to spill over in tomorrow's session? You know, again, we don't know, right? We don't know. We're not fortune tellers. We can only do our research which is tonight for tomorrow, and just be prepared uh, like we were over the weekend. And what we saw today at the Open uh, was probably one of the more uh, aggressive rug pulls I can remember in technology. They all went at once. Square, AMD, Tesla, um, what else was there? Square, AMD, Tesla, uh, we'll go through the pivots in a second, but it was incredibly aggressive. Square was my trade today. Um, I, I miss Tesla, which sucked because it's usually my favorite name, but you got to take the one that goes first, right? Um, but really aggressive pull. And when you look at from the, from, from, the, from the pure closing aspect of where the market is, now we have very definitive lines in the sand. So we already know the Q's de you know, defense, that 374 level, right? That's the line in the sand. There is no room for interpretation. So any close below 374 on the Q's, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get more, it's gonna get more aggressive to the downside. When you look at, for example, the SPY, to, to the bull's credit, they took out yesterday's low, put in a new low, and now this 444 level is a big number. You know, any bill below 444 on the spies, then you have this really, you know, really aggressive move back to the 50-day moving average of roughly 440. So at least we know uh, from the from a data point of view, at least we know, especially if you're a bull, if you have uh, positions, you have inventory, at least you know what your max pain is if these areas get confirmed. If they get confirmed, uh, again, I don't care how great your stock looks 
fundamentally where you believe the stock is going to be in 10 years well for the short term if those prices get confirmed uh there is going to be an added aggression of sellers but but on the point of reference kind of where we closed at least we did well we did the bulls did a good job reclaiming the levels now the question is do they build on today's uh last ditch effort right do they build on it tomorrow or do they give it up right if they give it up start losing today's channels and start moving lower and the one thing that we saw on friday right was a big gap up and they sold the market today the same thing with the spys right they gapped up the market they took them down they took out the previous lows and they, and they put in a new low uh for this channel but again in their credit they reclaimed it right back so again the etf side versus individual equities is really a completely different conversation. You, know, you hear people talk about it all the time. Well, why don't you trade ETFs versus individual stocks? Individual stocks trade on their own merits. Uh, ETFs, again, when you have an SPY, you have 500 of these stocks. So if one is strong, one is weak, it's not going to go anywhere, right? Uh, and so this is a microcosmic uh, of a whole big macro universe versus one individual stock. You could take full advantage of the price action and organic order flow. So that, again, there's so many, especially there's so many algorithms uh, because of the liquidity of the spy, it's almost too much liquidity. Um, that's one of the reasons why it's just, you can't get that you know clean move uh, versus an individual equity uh, compared to an ETF, you know, the whole uh, organic uh, universe of that uh, index. But I, again, going into tomorrow, you know, an hour and a half ago, I was 100% sell bias. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of 60, 40 sell bias now. And again, I, I want to give the bears the benefit of the doubt, but at least for today going into tomorrow's session, because remember an hour and a half ago, I had zero longs, literally zero longs. Uh, today, going into tomorrow's session, I actually like some names. Let's talk about how impressive, number one, the flush was this morning on Tesla, right? So this is, and we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. So this was the flush this morning on Tesla, right? Stock went down 25 points only to recover, literally only to recover um, 30 points, 35 points off the lows. Just an absolute uh, incredible recovery. Not only recovery, but it went green in the day. And now again, the key with Tesla for, for tomorrow's session, like I, I'm watching it on the upside tomorrow, but the one thing I still am still very conscious of, they did a great job reclaiming the 20 and the 10. They have to reclaim the five day moving average. And the one thing that I do know about technical analysis, those areas need to be tested first, rejected, and then confirmed. So we might, tomorrow might be kind of a tricky day, right, uh, on that five-day supply. But if the bulls start confirming that five-day supply of Tesla, yes, absolutely, I'd love to uh, to watch it get confirmed and maybe we start pushing back uh, into the 760s level. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, GameStop, you guys remember uh, AMC a couple of, uh, you guys remember AMC a couple of days ago and I said, look, I'm not drinking, right? I'm not day drinking, this thing looks pretty good, right? There was a couple of really aggressive pivots here. There was one, uh, there was one on, 47 there was one at 4930 you know the stock went crap look at gamestop right again i'm not day drinking man look at this thing you see how it got rejected right the 10-day moving average so again if you believe in the theory that stocks uh trade off that 10 day as the birth of the trade well it got perfectly rejected off the 10-day moving average if gamestop can just wake up right and reclaim this whole 10-day channel there is a lot of room to the upside as well. So again, there is no diamond hands. There is no, you know, to the moon, but there is a good setup, right? And if that does, if that setup does confirm, you're going to have some pretty good uh, value on your hands. Uh, even a name like uh, MCHP, again, uh, semiconductor, right? Looks pretty good here. Has this long, long base here. Again, it's not one of the sexy semiconductor names compared to like maybe uh, NVIDIA or AMD, right? But this is a good looking chart. And when you have some technical damage on a lot of names, again, beggars can't be choosers. And if the market does continue, uh, continue to be strong, we'll see. But if the market continues to be strong, uh, I definitely want to keep an eye on this thing uh, as well. The one name that is not doing well, and I've been waiting for this setup for a while. Please, for all the people at, 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 at for all the people on social media, I know you guys love this stuff. I know it. I know it. Believe me, there is no pleasure of me announcing that this stock is one day away from really starting a big macro down cycle. Again, is it going to confirm tomorrow? We don't know, but for whatever reason, this zoom breaks out 
all the crazy investors. Shut up, Dan. I hope your poodle gets chlamydia and dies. It's just trading, guys. Stocks go up, stocks go down. The stock blew up on earnings. It's putting in a two-week channel here. If it starts confirming this, this two-week channel, there's a lot of room down. So again, there's nothing personal, folks. Stocks go up, stocks go down, right? This is just trading. Either you're emotional enough to understand it and kind of omit the emotions out of your decision-making, or you're some knucklehead on social media telling some guy that he's wrong that I hope his foot falls off, okay? I'm being it nice, I'm keeping it PG. But this thing looks look, looks really, really good. And again, we, we talked about Dollar Tree. It was kind of the same scenario uh, that we talked about over the weekend, right? It took out the, the earnings lows and put, you know, put in a nice little move here. So again, Zoom is obviously going to be a bigger average true range scenario than a Dollar Tree, but the same scenario is still playing out uh, pretty, pretty well. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, very, very aggressive to the downside, like one after another, after another, super aggressive. Um, I was watching the video, right? The heavy call buyers, we talked about this all over the, the weekend update. Um, you know, it got above, it got above the $27, $28 level. It went to like 29 and change. And then you saw this avalanche of selling the NASDAQ 100. Obviously, if one goes, they all go. So only a small move there. RBLX never got to 91. SANA never got to 26. IS, I go, I'm not familiar with the name, but if it starts building 1160, 1170, maybe it can go. Keep an eye on this thing, guys. IS, I don't know what this thing is, but I really like the chart. Here comes the avalanche, right, guys? Here comes the avalanche uh, in the NASDAQ 100 names and friends of the NASDAQ 100. Uh, Auto, uh, Autodesk, again, we covered Autodesk also on the weekend update. 284 held three times. If it builds below, it can flush. Right? Here's Autodesk. Once they start taking down... Uh, once they start taking down the earnings lows, there's usually sellers to follow. That's why, again, guys, for all you guys who are permabulls on Zoom, maybe don't listen to this broadcast. <laughs> maybe, maybe take tomorrow off if they confirm uh, that bottom channel. But uh, anyway, uh, 284 uh, got down to uh, about roughly 278, you know, a nice six-point wash uh, at the open. Again, slower mover, but again, nevertheless, this was the, definitely one of the biggest moves. Uh, Roku, we talked about this on a weekend update, 328, 327 for bills below can flush. Uh, Roku got smashed. I mean, really, really smashed. Here was the 328, right? We talked about this thing over the weekend update. Uh, it broke below the 327 level and just got destroyed. Went down to 314. Just, I mean, look, look at this. Look what, what happened to this thing. I mean, just, just destruction. Look at this candle. Just absolute murder. Uh, murder in Roku. Uh, Dollar Tree, again, slow mover, right? Slow mover, uh, 89.64. Uh, earnings low if it builds below can flush. Again, cue the music to Zoom. We're watching Zooms. Um, if it builds below can flush. Again, it's a slow mover, but here was uh, here was Dollar Tree. I still like it. I still think it goes lower, but here is Dollar Tree. So it took out the 89.64, uh, went down to 88.80. Again, this is the lowest close in this whole formation on earnings. So again, I think uh, lower prices are still on deck. Tesla got destroyed. I was in Square as Tesla was confir was confirming, which kind of, I mean, I did, I did well with Square, but boy, boy, I would have done really, really well with Tesla. Again, just trading two of these things at the same time, not, not for the weak of heart. Uh, but anyway, 733, if it builds below, uh, we'll confirm the 10-day moving average. Could see 20, uh, 23. Forget about 23. It went all the way down uh, to the $15 level. This thing got just destroyed. It took out the 33 uh, which is Friday's lows and went all the way down to this linear regression line of 708. But again, um, the bottom line is it recovered incredibly well. And now we're watching it actually uh, back to the upside. But again, for all you guys that took it, congratulations uh, on Tesla. Just an absolute monster move. Uh, Facebook never got up to the 8450. Uh, this is an awesome move here. Uh, Square, 247 if it builds below can flush. You can see, you can see we, were, I mean, we were really ready just based on uh, the weekend research. And that's all you can give yourself, just, just a shot to be ready. Um, so here was uh, Square. Uh, it took out it took out this 247 level and just got absolutely destroyed. Uh, went down 10. Went down 10, recovered like everything else, but big, big move on Square. Congratulations for you guys who caught that uh, as well. Uh, AMD, again, another name we talked about on the weekend update. 105 held three times. If it builds below, it can flush. Here was uh, AMD. Right? Here was AMD. It took out the 105, went all the way down to 102 and change on AMD. So you can see very, very uh, aggressive selling. And again, you had spies, you know, spies, they confirmed the 445. 
they went down about a dollar and a huge, huge recovery uh, to kind of save the day. The white knight rolled in and, and saved the day. But beautiful moves, you know, big move on AMD, smacked on, on Square, uh, Tesla got smacked, Roku got destroyed. Uh, and, and I joked around. I said, okay, so what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day, right? Like after the first 15 minutes, it was just a, such a, an aggressive swan dive. They almost had to say, well, what the hell? Are you, where's the value for the rest of the day? But big reversal. Uh, here comes 715 support. Uh, Autodesk is getting hit. Uh, and I was joking around imploding one penny at a time, but that's kind of what it is. Uh, and that's it. So going into, so really good way to start the, uh, start the week. Um, going into tomorrow, again, I, I, I want to give the Bears the benefit of the doubt for one more session, but obviously I'll pivot, no pun intended. If, if the long side starts giving us some really good value, again, we'll start watching for some upside channels. But again, I'm, I'm very flexible uh, for tomorrow's session. I have my game plan ready. I have some names I really, really like. Uh, we'll see, right? We'll see which way uh, the market uh, the market cookie crumbles. Guys, have a great remainder of your eating evening, and with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.